In this second video tutorial, the four bar, we're going to add a motor to add a rotary motion to our uh, crank. So we're going to see how that affects all the other linkages. And we're also going to use a trace path to actually, so we can actually see exactly what's happening, what kind of motions are going in, what kind of things are coming out. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make sure that you have the add-on. So I'm going to go to uh, up the toolbars, go across to tools, down to add-ins, and from there I'm going to select, make sure that I've got switched on SolidWorks Motion there and there. Okay, so make sure that those are both switched on and say OK. It may take a, a little second when you do that. Now if you, uh, you'll notice here I've gone down into the uh, motion study. So if you're still back in here, you can just click the new motion study and that will open up into uh, the new motion study, which looks like this. Okay, so basically it's got kind of like a, a video control. There's a timeline along here. It's various bits and bobs that we can add. Uh, we can add springs, you can add gravity, you can add uh, all sorts of things to see how things add and work together. Okay, so we're going to add a motor and we're going to add it into this section here. So I'm going to zoom right in. And I'm just going to spin that around, okay. So the motor I need is this one here, so I'll just click on that part there, and then I'm going to select just the edge of the crank, and then I'm going to select the back of ground, okay. So I'm saying I want it to spin this direction from this point, and that's in relation to that part there, okay. Uh, I'm going to change the speed of that and bring that down to just 10 seconds, okay and say OK. All right. Now, if I let's spin that around and take a look at the front of it again. OK, so now let's just see if that's worked. So I need to check, first of all, here um, from this drop-down box that you've actually got the motion analysis uh, selected. And then I'm just going to push this button here, which um, sort of calculates the motion. Okay, so I click there, and you should see, hopefully, if everything's been selected right, that starts to move around. Okay, now to start with, uh, obviously it's going relatively slowly. The default is set at five seconds, which is not really going to be enough for us to kind of go see a kind of full rotation. So I'm just going to so um, just going to let that carry on because at the moment it's it's calculating. So I'm just going to give it another second or two so it finishes. Okay, hopefully you can see that this bit here is going around in a, a full circle. Okay, this is the, um, the crank. Uh, it's just finished there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just drag that along to 12 seconds. Okay, so that hopefully will give us a, a full couple of full rotations there so we can see what's happening. Okay, the other thing I want to do is um, I want to see how this bit here is moving. Okay, so I want to trace uh, a path of how this bit's moving as opposed to this bit over here. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that there and let's just move our four bar up here. Okay, so to trace a path, I'm going to go into the, the kind of inside the tube bit there of that. I'm going to right click and I need to select create motion plot. On the left hand side, uh, with a little sidebar open up here, I want to get rid of one of these faces. So I'm just going to go on face two, right click and say delete, because it can only use one face at a time. On the result, I'm going to select the displacement, velocity and acceleration. And the subcategory, I'm going to select trace path. OK, and say OK. Right, let's have a quick double check. That seems to have uh, not liked that. There we go. All right, okay. So it needed to be the edge. So what I did is I just right, went right click on there, I went delete. Okay, you'll know it's worked because you'll actually see the line suddenly be drawn for you there. Okay, so I'm just going to say okay there. Let's zoom out a bit so I can see what's happening. And let's go play from the start, which is this middle button here. And you should see. Okay, so that's showing us that the rocker here, this is the, the, the black lever, is going backwards and forwards, up and down in that kind of arc. Okay, it seems to only be doing half the way. So I'm just going to click the um, calculate the motion again. Hopefully that should work out the whole thing. I think it's what it's done is it's 
it's in me messing around with the settings, it's somewhat sort of stops. Okay, so we can see this quite nicely, hopefully. That it's doing a, there we go, it's doing that sort of um, part of an arc there, and now it's going to come back the way. And if you watch the other, okay, if we actually watch this crank here, crank linkage, that's just going to go in a full circle all the way around. Okay, so we can actually change the movement of this by actually adjusting the lengths of the different cranks. Okay, and that's something we'll maybe look at later. All right, but today I just wanted to show you how to um, how to animate it, how to add a motor, and how to do a uh, trace path. Okay, which is that's just currently working its way through. All right, there you go. So now it's got it's returning back all the way up to there. Okay, and we should be able to see that going through a, a full cycle. I'm just going to wait till that's finished, and then we'll have a a, a play at normal speed. And we should be able to see it. Obviously, it's going a little bit slower at the moment because it's trying to work out all the, the physics, the, gra um, the kind of friction, all sorts of things that you can do in SolidWorks. You can actually work out the the, the, the sort of tensions and the forces and all the different parts as well. Which, if you were making a part, such as a, for example, a, a four bar may be used on a, a, a windscreen wiper. Now, obviously, that's going to be used for, I don't know, 10 years or something, and that might be used. Uh, Going backwards and forwards for years and years, they need to work out which which bits are the weak points. Can they improve the material? All these sorts of things. Okay, that's nearly finished, and then we'll have a look at it at normal speed, and then we can actually see that moving quite nicely. There we go. So I should now be able to say play from start, and we should be able to watch that. There we go. That's much nicer. Okay, so you can see that moving quite smoothly, and that the the this is moving backwards and forwards as this thing. So we're turning basically we're turning rotational force into a kind of almost like a semicircle. I hope that's been useful for you.